Hey y'all, welcome to my guest bedroom and part two of the All-American Home. Now, if you've been following along, you know that I recently combined my home office and video studio into the other room in my house, which opened up this one, to have an actual guest bedroom, which I actually didn't have in my house. So I'm excited to furnish it with 100% US made products. As you can see, I have a couple of things in the room already. I have that painting that was in my video studio that me and my friends did. And then I also have these drapes here from American Custom Drapes, same ones as in my home office. Those are made in the USA. Hit up Jeremy if you want some custom drapes of your own. Super high quality, love them. Have them in a couple of spaces in my house. So I'm starting from pretty much a blank slate in this room. I got a bit of a budget, so I'm going to be more conscious of that for some of the items that I pick up and probably splurge on a couple of things that I have my eye on, but everything's gonna be American made and I'm excited to take y'all along with me. Let's get started. All right, so first up, I need a little foundation in the room. That means a rug. So this one's from Southwestern Rugs Depot. Same one that I got in my home office. Love these designs. All right, now that we got the rug sorted, next up is the bed frame because you gotta have a bed frame for a bedroom. Now this is an area where I went a little bit more budget just based on what I was able to spend and went with a company called KD Frames. Now they're based out of Athens, Georgia. They use a little bit of a softer wood. It's a tulip poplar than something like a super hardwood maple. And so it's not as durable as some of those higher end options, but it's super affordable and they're still really, really sturdy. So this is only a few hundred bucks and you can get them on Amazon or go directly through KD Frames or another retailer. Uh, but it looks really good. They get all of their hardwoods from some managed forests in Virginia and I'll uh, go ahead and get it set up. Alrighty y'all, bed frame is built. As you can see, it's just a natural finish, no stain or anything like that. I may add some color to it at some point in the future, but for right now it's serviceable and I think it looks great. It's also pretty sturdy just from all the different bolts and everything that I threw in there. Definitely going to be very durable long-term, even though it is a little bit softer poplar wood. All right, time for the mattress. I went with Bed in a Box. They're the original mattress in a box company and pretty much the only mattress in a box company that produces all of their mattresses right here in the US. So I'm gonna get this unboxed and let it expand and off gas overnight and then tell you all a little bit more about Bed in the Box tomorrow morning. All right, now that we've given this mattress time to expand, I wanna tell y'all a little bit more about Bed in the Box, which, like I mentioned earlier, is one of the original mattress in a box companies. Now, I went with Bed in a Box for a couple of reasons, and primarily is that they're one of the most American-made mattresses out there. They're involved in pretty much every single step of the production process, which is honestly not that common in the mattress industry, especially for mattresses that you buy online. So let me explain. A lot of these online mattress companies are essentially just marketing companies. They honestly source a lot of their foam from the same suppliers and don't really control much of the process. So even though a bunch are still assembled in the USA or made in the USA with mostly domestic materials, they don't really oversee a bunch of stuff like foam pouring and the construction of the covers and everything in between. But Bed & Box is very different. They are partnered with one of the big foam manufacturers in the US and actually have a joint manufacturing partnership where they have a 100,000 square foot facility in Mount Airy, North Carolina, where they oversee the entire process from start to finish for the manufacturing of all of their mattresses. 
So not only is Bed and Box doing all of the design in-house, but they are overseeing the foam pouring in this facility and the final assembly of all of their mattresses. And even their customer service is underneath the same roof. So quite frankly, these guys are just different than everybody else in the mattress industry. And it's quite refreshing that they have that oversight across every single step of their production process. And outside of being American made, which is obviously a very important factor for us, it's just a high quality mattress. So this is the 11 inch original mattress from Bed and Box. It's got a, about an eight inch high density foam layer that's going to be kind of your core support for the mattress and then a three inch memory foam layer on top of that, which is going to be great for comfort and pressure relief and things like that. But all this foam is poured in US facilities and like I said, they oversee the entire process. So I'm very confident that this foam is going to be a lot more durable and more high quality than those other mattress companies that are importing a lot of their memory foam. And outside of my opinion, this mattress is just really highly rated and reviewed by a lot of other people who do this for a living and know a lot more about mattresses than I do. Anyways, really high quality mattress from Bed in a Box. I'm super pleased with what I have unboxed from them, but they have not only this 11 inch original, but also a bunch of different models in their online store for all to choose from no matter your different sleeping style so make sure to check them out and they're actually one of the more affordable options as well so you won't be spending fifteen hundred two thousand dollars on a luxury mattress that is made in the usa when you can get an equally high quality option for less from bed in a box all right enough about mattresses let's move on to sheets and bedding the bedding manufacturer that I chose to go with is American Blossom Linens. They're based in Thomaston, Georgia, and everything that they make is 100% American made, all the way from the farm to finish. This is their pillow. It's got a 100% cotton cover with a wool filling, all made in the US. I also got their full sheet set, which includes a fitted sheet, a standard sheet, and a few pillowcases as well. But this is all 100% US grown organic cotton. I also got their duvet too. This thing is awesome. It's going to be super warm and nice on top of the bed. Also, I gotta say, these guys really go the extra mile with their packaging too. They included some local soap and Georgia grown tea. Super awesome and a nice touch to the package. Here's the fitted sheet. Looks super great, fits well on the bed and really soft. And here we are with the standard sheet, the duvet insert and the pillow on the bed. All in all, I think it looks great. I'll probably pick up another couple of pillows from these folks at American Blossom Linens as well as a duvet cover too. But this is a good start. Overall, I'm really happy with the bedding choice that I made with American Blossom Linens, and I can't recommend these folks enough. Janet and the team over there are, in my opinion, doing it the right way with 100% US sourced raw materials and assembly and every single part of the production process. So I'm absolutely loving the sheets and pillows that I got from American Blossom Linens. Definitely check them out. I have a full profile on them on allamerican.org along with a ton of other details about all the different products that they offer, but they pretty much have everything that you need for outfitting your bed with sheets and everything else. And they also offer towels and a bunch of other products as well. Quick side note for a mattress protector, I'm going with this option from Luna. Now I know I just put sheets on the bed, but this thing just got here, so I'm gonna strip everything off and throw this Luna mattress protector on there. Good, solid, cheap option made in the USA. All right, next up, I just got my nightstands in the mail. These are from Lancaster County Hardwood. I found them on Etsy, but they make some beautiful hardwood Amish made furniture out of Pennsylvania. I got the natural unstained option because I'm gonna do some staining myself along with the bed frame that I got from Katie Frames. But these are super affordable. It's no tool assembly. Everything just fits right in and they're gonna look really great and I think fit well with one on each side of the bed. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these assembled and then show you what it looks like. And here's the finished product. Nice little shelf on the bottom, pretty simple, clean, and I'll eventually stain these. 
All right, so we've made a ton of progress and really the last major piece for this bedroom project is lighting. So I picked up these wall mounted sconce lights from Steel Lighting Co, which is a really great American manufacturer. These are the Hawthorne lights that I got in a dark bronze color. They're more of a farmhouse style, but I think they'll look really great with one above each nightstand on either side of the bed. These Hawthorne lights are 11 inch gooseneck lights, so they need to be mounted above each nightstand. I'm personally not the most skilled electrician, so I hired somebody to come in and help me with the installation, but I'll walk through every single step in the process with y'all as he's going through everything and then show you the finished product. And here's the final installation of the lights above our nightstands. They have a beautiful finish to them with a great base plate there. You can see the Steel Lighting Co. branding. And like I said, I went with this dark bronze color and the Hawthorne gooseneck lights, which I thought turned out really, really nice. Alrighty, y'all. Those lights from Steel Lighting Co. are really the last big piece to our all-American bedroom. One last note, I also got these throw pillows from United Pillow Manufacturing. Got this bolster pillow and then three 20 by 20 throw pillows that I'm going to put on the bed here. Those three throw pillows are taking a little bit longer to ship just because they're completely custom, but I won't make y'all wait around for those. So I think it's safe to say that we did it. We built the All-American Bedroom. I'll put links to everything that I have in this room in the description below and hopefully this serves as good inspiration for yourself to buy more Made in the USA products. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American Made. See y'all next time.